to the court with Archie Diakono. Three seconds at midcourt. Jenkins gives it to Jenkins for the championship. My dad was the bandwagon fan. Growing up in Danville, Virginia, I failed to recognize his unloyal ways. All I knew and loved was UNC and the Washington Redskins. Dean Smith and Joe Gibbs go to hell Duke and Aikman sucks. When I reached high school, my dad began to peak in his bandwagonism. He did this so hard, my little brother learned to be a Giants fan and this was way before David Wilson. The only good thing to come of this was my brother as a Giants loyalist. He hasn't changed teams one bit. Despite all this, my father was extending new grounds to liking new teams. Whether they were good or sucked and used to be great, it didn't matter. This began pointless arguments. On August 21st, 2015, my father died of septic shock in Duke Medical Center. The university he loved to hate, occasionally, saved his life many times before. The night before his death, I witnessed Dad go in code blue. Surrounded by doctors and what appeared to be Cameron crazies, they brought him back one last time. It was time needed to say goodbye. After his death, I began to ponder this now pointless trait he had acquired. I have come to the conclusion that my dad loved humanity, he loved the storybook ending, and he loved those who loved him. I have four sisters and one brother, and we are separated by many issues politics to denominations, sports to public opinions, cars to pizza toppings. We disagree with everything. However, despite all this, there's only one thing that we can all agree on. One thing that my father has truly left on us, a forever impression that will always bring us six together. <laughs>